Hello, welcome to Code First Round 95 Division 3. We are solving problem D counting pairs. So in this problem, we are given a sequence A consisting of n integers where the ith element of the sequence is equal to ai. We are also given two integers x and y, x less than or equal to y. A pair of integers ij is called interesting if the following conditions are met. That is, i is less than j and they are varying from 1 to n. And if you simultaneously remove the element at the positions i and j from the sequence a, the sum of the remaining elements is at least x and at most y. And our task is to determine the number of interesting pairs of integers for the given sequence a. Okay, so based on if you see the consent, the consent are pretty much high and we have to solve it for the problem. So we are given an array and we have to find number of pairs. So it has said that we have two indices okay so the idea that is coming to my mind is that if i fix one index and i look for the all the possible indexes okay and if they are lying in a particular segment i will add it to my answer then i'll move to another index again i look for that segment that will be satisfying this condition again if i sort the array it should not disturb my any of the conditions that have been set because I have to pick those elements and remove from it and I have to maintain the sum should be in the range x and y and i j I, it don't it has don't have to initially deal with the initial indexes so what I'll do is I will be applying binary search because I first initially initial thought is to look for that linear search that look start from a particular index Keep on iterating until you find one index that will be basically satisfying that it is at least x and find another index that will be making it at most y and their difference plus one will be the one satisfying for my ith index then I will move to i plus one index I will again look for my search from i plus two to n and I will see that what is the probable segment I am getting it and I will interval and I will add it to my answer. So I can reduce linear search to binary search in order to from reduce the problem from n, squ n square complexity to n log n. That is why. So what I need to do is I will take the element and I will sort it. Along with that, I am, while taking the input, I will add AI elements to my sum. Now what I'll do is for every index i, I'll start my iteration. I will remove this sum minus AI when uh, for my ith element that I have I will maintain two indices f1 and f2 f1 and f2 are basically the first indices, and second indice that will be satisfying at least x and at most y I will start my binary search this is I will apply two binary search one will be to find the leftmost index that will satisfy the least x that the sum of the leftover elements after the removal of the two elements is at least x and another binary search I will be applying that will be for the index maximum index that I can remove so that my sum is at most y and respectively I will store those indices in f1 and f2 so what I'm doing is basically starting the binary search taking the mid value taking the sum minus a of mid is greater than or equal to x and sum minus a of mid is less than or equal to y if that's the case I will update f1 with my mid but since I have to find the minimum index so I will update my n to mid minus 1 I will move my n to mid minus 1 and I will see that if some minus a of mid is less than or equal to x that is this value is uh, what I say uh, this value is coming out to be small that is why I have to increase this value so I will uh, sorry this value is coming very uh, large so I have to reduce my n to mid minus 1 in order to make it greater than or equal to 0 this value has to increase because the difference value negative value has to be increased so that uh, negative value has to be decreased that is why I will update my n to mid minus 1 other and else condition I will update my start to mid plus 1 so once I'm done I will again start my binary search now this will be for the f2th index again I will look for binary search I will all the things will remain the same but the thing that will change is when my sum minus of mid is greater than or equal to x and sum minus a of mid is less than or equal to y I will update my f2 with mid but I will now update my start because now I want to maximize my index. I have to go to the rightmost side. That is why 
it will be start will be updated to mid plus one and rest will remain the same that in order to minimize this in order to get this value greater than equal to zero i have to update my end otherwise update my start finally i will check that if my f1 and f2 are not equal to minus one and if that's the case f2 minus f1 plus one that will be the all the possible j's for the i that we have taken so that will be for i this will be the number of j's that will be satisfying i will edit that to my answer <clears throat> and again i will in my sum i will again add a of i why so because initially i removed it so i will add it because now we are moving to second index or uh, first index from zero so zeroth index should be present so again adding those th th that we have subtracted from it and finally we will return our answer so yeah this was the very if you think of binary search, then it will become very easy problem. So yeah, that was the only crux in this problem. So if you have any query, do commit it out. If you like the video, hit the like button and do subscribe for more daily content, guys. Thank you.